Hello everyone, welcome to the video series of Basic Electrical Engineering Lab. Today we will be discussing our next experiment which is to measure the power and power factor of a three phase balanced circuit by two watt meter method. So this here is the panel for your measurement of power and power factor and we will be utilizing this panel and these two watt meters to measure our power of a three phase balanced circuit by 2 watt meter. Let us method. talk about the components required for this experiment. Basically, we have this panel here which have volt meters and ammeters already installed in it. And from here, we will be giving our three phase supply. And from these three terminals, we will be connecting our load. So, in this case, we are having a three phase induction motor as our load, which can be seen clearly on the left side of your screen, which is here. So this will be your load for this experiment and we also have two watt meters, watt meter number one and your watt meter number two which we will be utilizing to measure the path of a three phase balance circuit. So the next step here is to make the connections onto the panel according to this diagram. So you can see here clearly that the required connections have been made and both the watt meters have been connected to the panel as well as to the load terminals. The next step Success. here is to switch on the TPIC switch and please ensure that your variac is at minimum position while you are starting the supply. Now the TPIC switch has been turned on and supply has been given to the panel. This supply can be increased or decreased with the help of this variac. So now the supply has started to reach our load which was the induction motor and now induction motor is consuming some power which can be clearly seen with the help of our two if watt watch here closely that now our two watt meters have started giving us the reading but the watt meter 2 is going in negative direction so in that case what we need to do is we need to reverse its connection we are reversing the connections of the current coil of watt meter number 2 and we will consider its reading as negative now so before taking the reading of watt meter, let us check out the voltage and current. So we have provided this panel or you can say the induction motor a voltage of 400 volts approximately and the current drawn comes out to be 1.88. Accordingly, let us now fill our first two columns of the observation tables. A meter reading is 1.88 and voltmeter reading is 400 volts so the next two columns will be decided by the reading of our two watt meters so watt meter 1 is giving us 50 watts and watt meter 2 is giving us 30 watts but in case of watt meter 2 we will consider it as minus 30 watts because we have interchanged its connections down the readings provided by the watt meter 1 and watt meter 2 which was 50 and 30 watts respectively and we will consider 30 as minus 30 because we have interchanged the connections of that watt meter all right so in addition to the readings provided by the pointer of watt meter we also need to multiply it with the multiplication factor of that watt meter which is 8 so the total power consumed by the load would be w1 plus w2 which is 400 plus minus 240 which would give us 160 watts of power so your cos 5 which is your power factor can be calculated with the help of this formula which turns out to be root 3 into 4 
and we will take cos of this whole term. So now taking cos of 1.427 which will give us approximately 0 0.1 4 3 3 so this is the power factor for our load